Yeah, you know, drivers sure face some unique challenges here in the Puget Sound. Perhaps it's because there are so many options, so many modes of transportation. But one thing is for certain, there are so many ways to get to where you're going. A lot of wrong ways too. And right of ways, plenty of roundabouts, and even coming abouts. We have ramps to nowhere and trolls under bridges. In talking with commuters around here, it's clear there is really no one way. Although we have plenty of those too. Beth, you appear to be the average commuter, but it's more about who you're riding with. Yes. <laughs> this is Atticus from Ravenna, and he has a ramp to load up into my squeal mobile. I really like my commute, even if traffic is too thick and you're stuck. You just turn up the jazz and let the passenger decide whether it's peaceful. The peaceful pig that I got right now what have we told you about eating in the back seat, Atticus? Let's get a perspective from an expert. You know, as a traffic anchor, merging seems to be an issue here. It's like people are like, I'm going where I want to go. I am not letting you on the freeway. One of everything. I try. Wow, wait. Yeah, I think there's not too many people who have tried as many commute methods as I've tried. It's the first day. It's day nine. It's day 10. <laughs> it's yeah. day 12. You did this for real. Yeah, yeah, just, just for the fun of it. Like, can I do a different commute method every day for a month? I'm riding the seatway. I'm gonna telecommute. Drift states. I'm sailing to work. A unicycle. And I, I got a lot of support from my friends and neighbors. Favorite time was when a bunch of them decided they were gonna carry me to work in a litter. I suppose in the long list of commute methods, uh, my bicycle is my favorite one, and my least favorite one is the car. If we get more people out of the car, then it just makes the world a better place for everybody. 